Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is the um, new start to the Pinspiration collaboration. Um, it is a collab hosted by Creations by Kimber and um, we've been doing this for a few years now. Um, I have and I believe it started even before I was a participant. Um, what this collab is, is to um, just inspire you to create one of your pins that you have saved, rather than just saving everything for one day, it gets you to go ahead and, you know, jump in and actually create one of them. Um, so the link for the project I'm going to show will be in the description down below, as will all of the links to the um, participants. There are new ones this year. Some have not continued. Um, I think there might be some that are new, but I have decided to continue because I have a million things that I still want to create. I want to try and I thought, well, this really helps me to guarantee that I'm at least trying one of my pens each um, month. Of course, I'm always trying recipes, but I only I don't share them here because this isn't a cooking channel <laughs> but um, I might do a snack recipe or something one of these times this year just to be different um, but for this one I have created a card called a zigzag card and the ch or the um, the person that I followed the tutorial their blog is called flutter by Heidi and like I said, it'll be down in the description below, so you can click on it and, and go see what um, I'm talking about here. And um, now there is a link in her pen. It shows the the um, measurements for cutting and scoring the project, but I was not following it whatsoever until I watched the the video. There was a little um, video inside the blog. Um, once I watched the video, it's a real short video, but then everything was like completely clear and understandable. So you definitely want to check out the video. Um, this is the paper I decided to use. I have wanted to use it for a while now. I absolutely love Alice in Wonderland and I cannot for the life of me remember where I purchased this at. I'm thinking it was maybe a website overseas. Um, I know I did not pay very much for it. It was actually pretty decently priced for, I'm pretty sure, for where I got it. So I'm, I'm thinking it was purchased um, at a company like overseas or something, like from the UK. I cannot remember though, but it's called Alice in Teal. It is 8x8, and there are a, a bunch of like cutouts in this. Um, there's several sheets of all these beautiful images, um, a couple that repeat itself. Um, I love that. That would be perfect for like a card front. Then there's a lot of gorgeous teal and um, kind of like beige pattern papers in here. There's a good bit of paper to make a lot of projects. So I decided to cut into this. It says 24 sheets. Um, I believe there were four. I think there's four sheets of cut aparts. There's two different um, designs and they repeat once, so you get four. Maybe there's six, I can't remember. But anyways, there's a lot of that gold foiling on here, which is gorgeous, and then all of the really cute Alice in Wonderland images. And there's a lot of um, like sayings you could use on cards, um, like up here, happiest of birthdays, there's missing you, um, lots of love, and just, just a lot of fun images. So here is the card that I made. It is called a zigzag card. As you can see, it has this small section here, like a little panel. And then there is this, it opens up that way and opens up that way. So it kind of goes up from down here and goes up and then over here. Now the woman um, in her project, she did not put any paper here, but I totally screwed mine up like three times cut the wrong it was angled the wrong direction I was cutting it for this piece here and it kept going that way somehow I tried it three times finally I was able to get it 
cut the right direction. So since I had one of them that was cut wrong and it fit on this side, I went ahead and used it over here. I thought that was really cute anyway. So when you have it open like this, you have the you know, pattern paper there as well. Here is the um, little cinnamon. Now she used a punch and I actually pulled out one of my Stampin' Up! label punches that I was going to use for stamping a sentiment. But when I saw this in the paper pad, I thought, well, that's perfect. And it actually fit pretty nicely right there in that little panel. And also her pieces of, she used designer series, like the DSP paper, and she matted it with some solid cardstock. Well, I looked at the measurements wrong because the first set of cutting measurements for paper was supposed to be for the mat. And then the second set of measurements she showed was for like the pattern paper. So I cut it the size of the mat, and I thought, well, with this being on this sort of a beige or taupe colored cardstock, I thought, well, it doesn't really need to be matted, but it has a nice little border anyways, so I just left it. I didn't try to cut it down or try to mat it or anything. I think it looked really, really cute. And then, um, let's see, what else did I screw up? <laughs> um, I think those are the only things that I um, messed up. Um, because I, well, this was just because I really wasn't paying attention to what direction I was. Because you have to like do a little notch on your scoring, like your scoreboard, and then you cut at an angle. And I wasn't making sure that I was cutting the right direction. I just did it like three times wrong. So <laughs> I decided to use a piece right here. And then this was just one of those really fun. Um, cutouts. I love the Alice image holding that blue uh, flamingo, which is really cute. It was kind of really fussy cutting out around the little webbed feet, but oh well, he might have lost a toe or two, but it still looks good. And I like how she kind of hangs down into the space here to write the sentiment, so you can kind of write around her. <clears throat> and then this little bow, I just had to add that because, you know, Alice has the little bow in her hair usually. I thought that was adorable. And then on the corners here of the um, little saying, I did put some little blue colored bling. So there is the card, and I think it turned out really, really cute. I love this card. I plan on making um, some more cards with this um, paper. I love the paper. Now that I've actually cut into it, it's going to be so much more easy for me to go ahead and use it. And I'd love to do maybe a little tiny mini album or something I think that would be perfect um, with this paper and I love that image there if it if I don't use it on like a larger square card I'll it would be perfect to put on the front of an album love that so thank you everyone for watching and checking out my zigzag card and I will have the description or the link for this um, post that I followed down in the description below like I said you'd probably want to watch the little video clip um, that's inside the the post so that it's a lot more understandable because there are a lot of different measurements and some of them don't really make a lot of sense when you just first read it so definitely you want to watch the video and um, and there's a few I think a handful of channels that are doing this collab this year so um, definitely try to check them out if you can I have all of their links down below thank you so much everyone for stopping by and, and watching and I will talk to you all the next time take care bye